All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for real people just like you, just like me. David Lee Roth returns with another new track, old new track from about seven years ago. What's interesting is in one article I read about this, it said that he was probably trying to record these for either a solo album that he was going to do or possibly as new Van Halen material. He recorded the music with John Five. John Five is a formidably good guitar player. Um, got his start actually with Dave way back when in the uh, DLR band, uh, which was a project that was mostly unnoticed by the music industry at that point. Grunge was flexing its ugly muscles and not much in the way of melodic content was getting through. And at that point, Dave's career was virtually like almost over. But in any event, uh, John Five went on to play guitar for Marilyn Manson and Rob Zombie, um, and recently even worked with Steve Perry on uh, the Traces album. So um, he's a pretty versatile dude. Uh, needless to say, the song Giddy Up, the new track, is pretty good. Um, again, Roth likes to talk during this song, much like he did on Tattoo, but he ends up talking a bit more. People like his um, speaking voice. He kind of sounds like a, a late night talk show host, you know. He's being all smooth and um, his singing is, you know, again, much like Tattoo where you have to get up there to hit higher notes and so forth. It's a, it's a little bit dicey at times. Um, overall, though, the track is pretty good um, if you're looking for new material. What's interesting, again, is this whole dynamic about whether this material was going to be used for a Van Halen album. And you read certain articles and they talk about how, you know, Roth basically at some point admitted that he was kind of free to do what he wanted to do, or um, there was a change of plans. Again, really dancing around the fact that uh, Ed was sick or maybe at that very moment, we don't know, maybe Van Halen was just playing it close to the vest. They didn't want to know that uh, people to know that Ed was sick and so forth. And okay, I mean, Dave hasn't really given us a good response to Eddie's passing yet. I'm assuming he's going to sit down and do a blockbuster interview with somebody to talk about Ed. I think he's waiting for, I'm hoping that he's just waiting for the right moment because quoting Jerry Garcia, you know, what a long, strange trip it's been. I don't know. It, I mean, you're talking about your friend, hopefully still, and the greatest guitar player who ever lived or in the top two or three um, you've got like Rick Allen recently from Def Leppard saying that, you know, Eddie changed the entire landscape of guitar playing, but yet Dave hasn't really, and Dave likes to talk. He talks through this song and you're thinking to yourself, Dave, sing a little bit, stop talking. Um, he's a professional talker. So you would think he could write a book on the topic of Eddie Van Halen. And I think it would probably do him a lot of good from a PR standpoint to kind of come out and really um, talk about Ed. Maybe he's just not ready to do it. Don't know. Um, but the song itself, Giddy Up, it's interesting. I still like uh, that first song they released somewhere over the Rainbow Bar and Grill. That was a pretty decent track. Um, if you're, you know, if you're a fan of David Lee Roth, I would say uh, definitely check it out. It's definitely worth listening to. All right, folks, done with the video. Thanks for watching and for the new subscribers. Um, thank you so much. Thanks for also the new patrons. I appreciate that as well. And uh, I never stop appreciating. And uh, so if you want to join me over on Patreon for a dollar a month, you want to have a friendly conversation about something that, you know, I might have some insight to or just these days, I just like to chat with like-minded human beings that haven't gone completely off their rocker, if you know what I'm talking about. So <laughs> although I am almost ready for a rocker at this point, uh, I am kind of a rocker, but I'm ready for a rocker. And 
That could be the new slogan, the old rockers ready for the rockers. All right, I'm done talking too much. I'm doing a little David Lee Roth here. I'm sorry. See you soon.